there are many people that have an idea that if you're born in a Christian country that you're a Christian. Many people have an idea if you have Christian parents, you're automatically a Christian. But the Bible says you cannot inherit Christianity. It's not by flesh and blood, no, the will of man. There is nothing that you can do to automatically make yourself acceptable to the kingdom of God. You can go to church. You can live a decent life. You can be a good, moral, virtuous person. But that does not make you a Christian. You can have uh, Christian characteristics, but that doesn't make you a Christian. There are thousands of people in America tonight that think they're Christian, but in actuality, they are not Christian in the narrow sense of the term. They've never been born again. They've never received Christ into their heart. And if they died, they would not go to heaven. Now a Christian is a person that has had a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. A Christian is a person that has made a decision for accepting Christ as Savior and Lord. You've accepted Him. You've committed your life to Him. Now the first thing is, a Christian is a person that has made a choice. You've made a decision. You've had an encounter with the living God. You've received Christ into your heart. That is the first step in being a Christian. Has that happened to you? Has there come a moment in your life when you repented of your sins? When you acknowledged that you're a sinner? When you said, oh God, I'm willing to turn from my sins? And then by faith, you received Christ as your Lord and Savior? Now that's the starting point. Oh, there are many people that are trying to live the Christian life, but Christ doesn't live in their heart. Because a Christian is a person in whom Christ dwells. The moment you receive Christ, the Holy Spirit comes into your heart and gives you a new moral nature. And you have power and you have strength to live the Christian life. Now, no one can live the Christian life until first he's been to the cross and received Christ as Savior. Christ died on the cross. Christ shed his blood for our sins. But you must come and receive Christ. That is an act of your will. Intellectually, you say, yes, I believe. But that's not enough. Emotionally, you might have had an emotional experience, but that's not enough. By your will, you must say, I will receive Christ. I will give my life to Christ. But then, after that, something else must take place. The second thing is, a change must take place in your life. The Bible says, old things have passed away. Behold, all things become new. There must be a definite change in the way you live, a change in your attitude, a change in your attitude toward God. You must love God supremely. You must put God first in all the choices and decisions of your life. There must be a change in your attitude toward yourself. No longer are you egocentric. No longer are you selfish. No longer is everything done just for self and to please self. There must also be a change in your attitude toward your neighbor. You must love your neighbor as yourself. And so there must be a change in your life. Old things pass away. Behold, all things become new. Right. How many people claim to be Christians, but they don't have any peace in their life? There's no joy. There's no love in their life. There's no walk with Christ. There's no thrill. They get angry quickly, they're sensitive, they're jealous, they're filled with pride. I tell you, the Christian life was never meant to be that way. Give your life to Christ and make sure that it lives in your heart. Some of you give your life to Christ tonight for the first time. Others of you can come and rededicate your life and say tonight, I'm going to surrender my life to Christ anew and afresh. I'm going to give myself to Him. You cannot come to Christ any time you want to. You can only come when the Spirit of God is speaking. And tonight the Spirit of God is speaking to hundreds of people here. He's speaking to you there. You can give your life to Christ right now and say tonight, I give myself to Him. Many of you are church members. Many of you are Christians. But you need to rededicate your life to God. Bow your head. Say yes to Christ. Let Him come into your life and make you a new person. Change the whole direction of your life. You can do it right now. God bless you.